Let's do this, traders. Let's do this. Let's do this. Woo! I hope you're ready. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Welcome, welcome traders, welcome, welcome. Welcome traders, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another live wealth event. All right, I wanna thank you all for your patience. I wanna thank you for being here. I wanna thank you for attending uh, once again one of my presentations. I don't quite know how many people are logged on to this event, but what's really fascinating, what's really, what's really amazing is that um, this event is being held in three different languages. And of course, that's English, Spanish, and Portuguese simultaneously. We have people from, I think, over 50 different countries registered for this event today. I know that as of yesterday, we had over 22,000 people that registered to be here. Now, usually that's not the number of people that log on, but that's certainly the number of people who at least at some particular point had some interest in attending today. So I hope, I hope that the vast majority of those are here with me today. I wanna to thank you for your patience, but I wanna let you know that we are in store we are in store for a very, very dynamic, educational, and potentially life-changing event. Now, I normally have a better camera to speak to you in, and for, for whatever reason, that's not working today, so that was a little bit of my delay, but we're gonna get through this bad camera or not, all right? But I do promise that what I will share with you today is potentially going to be life-changing for you if you have some interest and turning um, your, your market activity into wealth. Now, what we're gonna be talking about is specifically how over the next five years, you can set yourself up to never have to work again. That is my mission with my group of wealth traders, all right? We're on a five-year mission to never never have to work again. We are also on a 10-year mission to make that the scenario or the reality generationally for our family. So over the next five years, I have a specific plan that I believe can set every single person up for this this situation where you never have to work again. You can earn your entire livelihood, right? From what we're gonna do step by step. And if you have a 10 year period, you can set that scenario up for your family generationally. So it's not just about you potentially becoming wealthy and financially independent. It's about giving your generations after you that capability as well. That's called generational wealth. So five year plan for ourselves, 10 year plan to be able to pass the wealth on generationally to our family. And that's what this is all about. So today's presentation is going to delve into some of the things that I do or some of the things that I did and some of the things that I continue to do to generate that generational wealth. And I promise you, over the next two hours, you're gonna be able to handle yourself in this wealth game a lot better, right, than you were doing or could have done before this presentation, all right? So let's get to it. I hope you're ready. I will try. 
try to, uh, I'm not quite sure how many questions I'm gonna be able to answer throughout the presentation, but I hope that I'm thorough enough in my presentation to make sure that most of your questions are answered. All right? Now, um, as I've mentioned, guys, we're gonna delve into some material, but I do want to make sure that all of you are aware of the fact that you can contact me via my social media networks, in particular, Instagram, OLVELEZ007. Um, I do my best best to, 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 to answer questions that come to me via this medium. I'm not always able to answer all of the questions, but if you're interested in following my work day to day and some of the things that I put out to my community on a daily basis, please follow me on Instagram. Of course, um, you can do that on Facebook and Twitter as well. All right. As you know, you're right now on one of the fastest growing, uh, trading oriented YouTube channels on YouTube. We're close to 200,000 people strong and I spend a great deal of time traders putting out a piece of educational content and material every single day. That's 365 days a year so that each day you can take an additional step toward becoming financially free and handling yourself in the financial markets more professionally. So Oliver Velez Trading is the English channel. Um, Oliver Velez Trading in Espanol is my Spanish YouTube channel and Oliver Velez Brazil is my channel in the Portuguese language, okay? All right, guys, for the benefit of those who have no idea who you're talking to or who, who I am, very quickly, let me give you a brief history. Um, my name is Oliver Velez, of course. I have been in this business for a very long time. I've actually been trading for, for 40 years. I placed my first trade in 1981, traders. That's, I'm sure, longer than, that's before many of you were actually even born. Um, I became a professional uh, landing my first job on Wall Street, which was my dream on December 6th of 1986. And I went on to have an eight year stellar career on Wall Street. Um, I became rather very popular and very well known on Wall Street as being the individual who radically changed the way you trade the open of the markets. That popularity led me to actually start teaching traders on Wall Street, going to other firms as a guest instructor. Um, that gave me the confidence in, sep in September of 1994 to leave Wall Street to start my own advisory firm, which I did in September of 1994. That firm would go on for a 12-year period, traders, of being one of the most sought-after professional advisory firms on Wall Street all right, and in the entire financial industry. I am known as the father of swing trading. Many of you have heard the term swing trading, but I coined that style of marketplace swing trading all the way back in the beginning of the 1990s. So for fun, what you can do right now is just simply Google Oliver Velez swing trading and you will see much or a lot of my old work regarding this style of marketplace that I popularized in the early 1990s. The term swing trading is now a very commonly used term, but it is I who gave that style of market play that specific name. Now, Barron's ranked me number one in America back in 1998, all right? Um, my firm and I were, were dubbed the number one place to go to to become trained, educated as a professional trader. Um, Dow Jones in 1999 dubbed me the Messiah of trading. I became the first 
person that the entire industry, the entire trading industry chose to be a spokesman for the entire industry. And I was the first inaugural keynote speaker for the first industry event in 1999. And I returned to be the spokesman for the industry for the year 2000. And once again, last year in 2020, I am the best selling author of five international um, books on the topic of trading the markets for a living. These five books are written in five different languages and, and continue to sell m more copies than all other trading books combined. All right, today I have over 10,000 traders that trade equities, forex, and cryptocurrencies. All right. These traders span 96 different countries, making um, me one of the largest um, trading firms in the industry and one of the most prolific instructors and trainers. Uh, I continue to advise and speak for financial organizations globally. Guys, um, here's an article very quickly um, talking about me and my inaugural talk at the first International Traders Expo all the way back in 1999 and 2000. This is the article where Barron's named me and my firm the number one source in America to go to for for training, education, and becoming a professional trader. This is an image of some of my books in, it, in their various different languages. That's English, Spanish, um, German, uh, Japanese, and Mandarin. Uh, here is just a Google snapshot of, of, of uh, Oliver Velez books. So you can basically go to Google and just type in Oliver Velez books and get um, a, a bird's eye view of every single piece of work that I've written over my 40 year trading career, 34 of those years professional. And of course, once again, this is where you can follow me, guys. O.L. Velez 007. I do want you to understand that there are people that do try to um, use my name to defraud you, to trick you. They're everywhere, traders. So understand that this is the only, this is the only account that I have, O.L. Velez 007. There is no other account that I have. I will not reach out to you independently. If someone is reaching out to you claiming that they are me, that is a false account. Do not fall for the scams out there. They're everywhere and every single person with a channel has to deal with this, okay? So just remember, O.L. Velez 007, that's it. No prefix, no suffix, no periods, no anything. And I will never reach out to you independently and ask you to send me something, all right? Please remember that. I will never do that, okay? Now, let's delve into the material, traders. Let's go. All right. What do we need to understand when we're talking about building wealth via financial markets? We need a few things. We need to understand that there are three types of markets. All right. This is one of the foundational steps you need to understand that it's not just one type of market we deal with. We have three types of markets. All right. All markets fall into these three categories. The first type of market we have is what I call the boom to bust flat market. That means that this type of market starts off flat, moves to the upside in a big way, tops out at the top, tops out, and then experiences a bust all the way back down to zero. Now, it's important to understand that this market can be played very nicely, but this market will reverse itself every single time. That it goes big to the upside, but it also crashes, erasing virtually every single thing that it has produced in the boom cycle. All right. So this type of market requires good timing, because if your timing is off, whatever you've gained 
is going to be completely wiped out, okay? This is what I call the boom bust flat cycle. So we start off flat, we go to boom, we top out, we experience bust, and we start the cycle all over again, okay? Now, which markets are actually this type of market? Which markets have a boom and then a bust that erases everything? Well, the stock market, the bond market. In fact, all paper markets are boom to bust markets, which means that they rise for years sometimes, but when they crash, they ultimately, even over a long period of time, will erase the vast majority of what they have gained. Now, a lot of people say, well, Oliver, I've heard that the markets go up and up and up um, over time. Well, that's not entirely true. Markets go up over a period of time, but they actually eventually revert to zero. Now, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. What, guys, what, the market plays a trick on most people that don't understand markets intimately. And let me, let me explain this trick to you, okay? Markets have indices like the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the S&P 500. And they show you the charts of these indices that go up forever. But here's the trick that they play. Whenever something in that index, whenever something in the Dow Jones Index, as an example, becomes really bad, they kick that stock out of the index and replace it with a winner. Whenever a stock becomes an underperformer, whenever a company in the index becomes a bad company, goes out of business, or starts doing really bad, they kick the stock out of the index and they replace that stock with a winning stock. So get this, they remove their losers and only keep their winners. And what this little trick does is give the illusion that equity paper markets go up forever. Now imagine if you could take your investment or trading record and all of your losing trades you remove out of the numbers and then you replace those with only your winning trades so that your chart never really shows a losing trade. Wouldn't your chart go straight up over time if every losing trade you removed out of the numbers? That's the trick. And this is, this needs to be understood if you're going to play markets properly, that all paper markets go to zero if this trick is not played, which requires timing. So don't believe the hype. Stock markets go to zero over time. There's only always a small handful of stocks that are talked about. Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, you know, things of that nature. But there are literally millions and millions of companies that have been involved in the stock market that are no longer a part of the stock market. The stock market has a very big failure rate. Do you understand? There's only a small handful of all the companies that have ever gone public that are even in existence today. The failure rate is higher than the winning rate. So all of this is designed to give you the impression that equity markets go up forever because the equity markets want your participation. Now, participation in this market is not bad. We just have to learn how to do it well enough to bypass the crashes back to zero. And that's something we're going to talk about today. All right, let's keep going. Boom.
All right, now, the next type of market environment I need you to understand is the boom to bust, right? Sorry about this, guys. Um, this is the boom to bust up market. Now, we talked about the boom bust flat, right? That's all paper markets, stock market, bond market, so forth and so on. This type of market has booms, ups, busts, downward movements, but they also tend to go up over time. These are the real markets that go up over time. They have crashes. They have upward movements. They have crashes, but they go up over long periods of time. They increase in value, unlike paper assets, which don't increase in value over time. All right, which markets are the boom to bust upward markets? This list right here, gold goes up over time. Gold has been regarded as hard money for the, throughout the world for over 4,000 years, all right? Over that 4,000 years, gold has gradually gone up in price, all right? and will likely continue to gradually go up in price over time. But while it's gradually going up in price over time, it does have periods of sharp moves to the upside and sharp moves to the downside. It can have long periods of going down, but when you string decade after decade after decade together, that trend tends to be gradually up. Silver tends to have a gradual up move over time, over more over a few thousand years. Art tends to go up over time. Collectibles such as certain coins and watches and things of that nature tend to go up gradually over time. Farmland goes up over time. Rare real estate like homes on the beach, um, and things of that nature, rare real estate that it's hard to duplicate and replicate over and over again. That type of real estate tends to go up over time. And look at what's the baby on this list. The baby is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a baby because it's, it's far younger than everything on this list. It came into existence about 12 years ago and has burst on the scene as being not only the newest, but the most powerful player on this list. Oh, in just a 12 year period, Bitcoin has become a $1 trillion entity. Now think about this. It took Apple 20, it took Apple 42 years to become a trillion dollar company. It took Bitcoin 12 years. It took Microsoft 44 years to become a trillion dollar, dollar asset, a trillion dollar company. It took Bitcoin 12 years to become a trillion dollar entity. It took Amazon 24 years to become a trillion dollar asset. Notice how the time is getting shorter. Apple, it took Microsoft 44 years to become a trillion dollars. It took um, it took uh, Apple, Microsoft 44 years to become a trillion dollar asset. It took Apple 42 years to become a trillion dollar asset. It took Amazon 24 years, if I'm not mistaken, to become a trillion dollar asset. Notice the time getting smaller and smaller. All right. It took Google 22 years. So Mike, it took Amazon 24 years. It took Google 22 years to become a trillion dollar asset. It took Bitcoin 12 years. That's insane. So Bitcoin is the new player on the block, but it is also the most powerful player on this block today and will likely continue to be over the next 40, 50, 60 years. 
Now think about this, traders. Apple has been going up to its trillion dollar mark for 40 years. It's nothing strange. It's not strange for a powerful asset to have multiple decades up. Apple's been going up for 40 years. Microsoft's been going up for 44 years. Understand this. Amazon's been going up for 24 years. You understand? Google's been going up for 22 years. Bitcoin's 12 years old. It has 30, 40, 50 years in front of it. And it is the fastest horse in the race today. It has knocked down the first trillion dollars in 12 years or less. Imagine what the next 10 years is going to bring us. This is going to become a very important part of our wealth plan going forward. You want to become financially free over the next five years? You want to make sure over the next 10 years that generations after generations that follow you will not have to work either? That Bitcoin has to be an integral part of your overall wealth plan. All right? And I'm going to teach you how to incorporate it into your play. Let's go. Boom. Now, then there's the third type of market. Now, we talked about the markets that go up and down and wipe out everything. We've talked about the markets that go up and down, but go up over time infinitely forever. All right. We talked about that. That the new kid on the block in that list is Bitcoin. And then we have the third type of market that they go up and down over shorter periods of time, but over longer periods of time, they just go all the way to zero. They go to nothing. Now, it's important to understand this third market type as well. What goes to zero? What becomes nothing? Well, this market. That's right. The US dollar will go to zero. The euro will go to zero over time. The yen will go to zero over time. China's renminbi will go to zero over time, or some people refer to it as the yuan, will go to zero over time. All fiat currencies in the history of the world goes to, they all go to zero. It is, this is one of the most important things to understand about wealth. That your dollars, whether it's pesos or euro or yen or yuan or it doesn't matter. Your dollars are a melting ice cube. And that the key to wealth is to switch dollars into something that does not go down over time. You make your dollars, but you must and you spend dollars to live today. I got to look at your faces for this, right? This is, this is too important for me not to look at your faces, all right? Listen, you work to make dollars, to make pesos or dollars or yen or euro, whatever your fiat currency, you work to make that a portion of those dollars you use right now to live. You pay your bills, you buy your groceries, you take a vacation every now and then, whatever. You use your currency to live today. But whatever you don't need today, you do not save. This is a critical mistake that has been taught to us erroneously by our parents, by our grandparents to save. Savers don't become wealthy. Do you understand this? You can't save your way to a better life. Saving is a mistake. Do not save your dollars. You move 
dollars into something else, which is called investing. You invest your dollars. You do not save your dollars. Why would you save something that's going to zero? Why would you save something that, that is worth a dollar today and tomorrow it's worth 50 cents and the next day it's worth 25 cents and the next day it's worth 12 cents and the next day it's worth five cents? Why would you save something that is declining in value that will ultimately go to zero? Why? Why would you do that? You don't save what loses value. You save or hold on to what goes up in value over time. So you have to make a switch. Do you understand? You have to make dollars. You go into the system, you make dollars, you take a portion, you spend that today, and whatever you don't need today, you switch into something that does not melt. You switch into something that does not go down over time. You switch, you make the switch. That's called investing. You don't save dollars. This is the most idiotic thing that has been taught to us in our past. Savers don't become wealthy. Only those who switch their dollars into hard assets that go up over time. Do you understand this? Tell me you understand this. A penny saved is still a freaking penny. Do you understand? Repeat that. A penny saved is still a freaking penny. Don't be a saver. I need you to understand that. All right. No saving here. Ugh. Mm. Terrible. Now, guys, if you don't believe me that all currencies go to zero, do me a favor. I, I, I'll do this. I got. I got. I, I want to see your faces here. I want to see your faces. Do me this favor. Do it right now. Do it right now for me. I want you to Google this. I'll. I'll give you a minute. Just Google it for me. I want you to do it. Google this for me, guys. Look, Google life span of fiat currency. All right, Google that and tell me what number you get. I'll wait. Do it. Just Google this lifespan, lifespan of fiat currency. And I want to see what number you, I want to see, I'm going to look at your answers. Tell me what numbers you get. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to move until you tell me the number. What's the average lifespan of a fiat currency? Type it here. I want to see it there. Type it for me. I know we're on a delay, but I want to see the number. I want, that's right. There you go. Guys. A currency doesn't even have your lifespan. Average lifespan of a human being is what? 87 years, 85 years old now? The average lifespan of a fiat currency is 27 years, which means that all fiat currencies die. They go to zero. Now, here's the trick that they're gonna play. Here, I'm, I'm speaking to the camera like you're over here, but you're over here. Sorry, I don't have my, my regular camera. But check this out, guys. Check this out. They'll always call it something else. They'll switch the name on you. Like, guys, how old is the euro? It, I, I, when I was born, there was no euro. When many of you born, were born, there was no euro. Right? So the euro is a new currency. But I guarantee you that before I give the euro five years, Watch the euro be zero. I give the euro five years. It's going to zero. Why would you want to save what's going to zero? Now, they'll switch it up on you and call it a new name. So they'll put the euro to rest and something will come in its place. But that's just the trick 
the name will change, which means that it died. All right? They'll do the switcheroo on you. I keep talking to my camera. They'll do the switcheroo on you and call it a new name, but that's just a new currency. Guys, all currencies go to zero. What the wealthy understand is that currency must be converted into things that go up over time because currencies go down over time. This is the whole game. Switching your currency to something that doesn't go down over time. This is it. Bill William, Bob Williams just gave it to me. Euro was launched January 1st, 1999. There you go. It's a baby. But it's going to have an early death, I promise you. Now, check this out. This is, this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. When you start to understand the game, traders, you understand? When you start to understand the game, you can begin to change your life because so many people are are locked into the wrong game they have been we have been taught to get educated to go into debt to get our education we have been taught to get a good job that pays us fiat currency. We've been taught to go into debt to buy a home that will never pay off in 60 years, 70 years. And we've been taught to save if we can. This is all wrong. Debt is wrong. Getting a better job to earn more fiat is wrong. You're not, we weren't taught to invest. We weren't taught to make the switch into things that go up over time. We're taught to get credit cards and to get a house with a big giant mortgage on it and stay in debt so that we can stay a slave to the system and have to keep working. No, we're stopping this now. Do you understand? We're going on a five-year plan where all of that stops. Five years. You follow me for five years. I pro Follow me for five years. And your whole life's going to be different. I'm going to show you what I started doing in 1986. It's going to be crazy, but in a good way. All right. So here's facts we must know. Check this out. In the year 1913, traders, the U.S. dollar was a dollar. That's when the U.S. dollar really came into its real existence. It had an existence long before that. I do understand that, but it was different. It came into its real existence right in 1913 so in 1913 it's rebirth all right it was worth a dollar today that dollar is worth four cents the same dollar in 1913 that was worth a dollar is worth four cents today so the dollar has lost 96 percent of its value it's only got four cents left to go to zero and it's rapidly going to zero, rapidly. In the year 1913, silver was worth 60 cents. It's worth $25 today. Notice the move up. So in, in, 19, in 1913, the dollar was worth a dollar and today it's worth four. That's going backwards, four cents. Silver in 1913 was worth 60 cents. Today, today I checked these prices today, by the way, $25.13. In 1913, gold's price was $20.67 an ounce. Today, it's $1,726 an ounce. The long-term trend is up. But look at my baby Bitcoin. In 2010, just 11 years ago, 
Bitcoin's price was eight cents. Today, Bitcoin hit 55,000. Guys, look at this. Silver has been in existence for thousands of years. It got to $25. Gold has been money for over 4,000 years. It got to $1,700. Bitcoin just started and it already got to 55,000. Oh my God, where is this thing going? It's going into the millions, that's where it's going. Oh yes, Bitcoin will be millions of dollars a coin. Listen, read my lips, look, you gotta read my lips, look. You have to read my lips, guys. Say this with me. Millions of dollars. Say this with me. Millions of dollars. One more time. Someone type it for me. I want to see it. I want to see you type it for me. I want somebody, it's, it's anyone, type it for me. Millions. Bitcoin will be millions of dollars a coin. Type it for I want to see it. Type it. I w I'm not moving until I see it right there. Show it to me. Type it for me. Type it right there. I want to see it. <laughs> Say it. Type it. Millions of dollars. That's right. Thank you. I see you. Thanks, James. Thanks, Dashana. Thank you. All right. Yes. That's where it's going. Now, let me give you this gift. Let me give you this gift. Okay. We're going to go on a plan that gets you a minimum of 0.28% of a Bitcoin. Listen to me carefully. Write this number down. This is my gift to you. Write this number down. 0 0.28. Write it down. Type it here for me. I'm going to see that type too. 0 0.28. 0 0.28. Type it. Type it for me right there. 0 0.28. 0 0.28. 0 0.28. Type it. 0 0.28. Now, what does this number mean? If I'm going to take all of you, we're going to go on a plan to get you to that first minimum. You're going to accumulate 0.28% of a Bitcoin. That's goal number one. Once you have a, a little bit more of a quarter of one Bitcoin, you can get there gradually, okay? But once you have one quarter, we're putting that away. What does this one 0.28% of a Bitcoin, what will that do? It will guarantee that you are in the top 1% of all Bitcoin holders in the world. Oh yes, that's all it takes. 0.28% you're going to be in the you're going to be able to raise your hand and say I'm in the top 1% in the entire world. There's not enough a bitcoin supply for everyone to have a full bitcoin. Guys, look at it. There's not enough for every millionaire in the world to have one bitcoin. That's crazy. If every millionaire in the world wants, I want one Bitcoin, there is not enough Bitcoin. To, there's, I'll give you the number. There's, if we spread Bitcoin out over all the millionaires in the world, okay, evenly, each one would have 0 0.44. That's crazy. 0 
There's only enough Bitcoin to give every millionaire in the world less than a half of a coin. But we're going to get there first. We're going to accumulate first 0.28%. Boom! And we're going to keep that to the side. And this, it's mathematical, will ensure that you are the top 1% of all the Bitcoin owners in the world. And that's one small component of our wealth plan, but it is a component. And there are different levels that I'm gonna walk you through as well with this, but that's the first goal, 0.28%. All right, let's go. And remember what I told you, remember what I told you guys, I told you that Apple has been going up for 44 years. No, Microsoft's been going up for 44 years. Apple's been going up for 42 years. Amazon's been going up for 24 years. Google's been going up for 22 years. Tesla's been going up for however many years, all right? Bitcoin's the baby. It's gonna be going up for 40, 50, 60 years. It's going to be going up for thousands of years. And people think I'm crazy when I tell them this, but they don't understand financial markets. You see, hard assets go up forever. Do you understand this? Gold's been going up for 4,000 years, longer. Silver's been going up for 4,000 years. Apple's been going up for 44 years. Bitcoin's 12 years old. It's never going to stop going up. Not in your lifetime, not in my lifetime. And we're going to ride this baby. Do you understand this? I'm going to teach you how to ride this and I'm going to teach you how to mathematically have this catapult you into a life that most people will only dream of. Now, I did this presentation last year when Bitcoin was 10,000. When I told you this in the last presentation, it's on my YouTube channel. Go to this presentation last year when I'm on this slide showing you what, right, look at this. I'm showing you Bitcoin's price at 10,000 and I'm telling you the same thing. I was telling you when Bitcoin was 10,000, this is not going to stop. And it was 10,000, now it's 55,000. And we're still in the beginning. The idea that a 12 year old baby is in a bubble, anyone who tells you that doesn't know financial markets. That's like saying when the internet was 12 years old, it was in a bubble. That's like saying if Apple was 12, when Apple was 12 years old in 1992, Apple was 12 years old, that was a bubble. Ridiculous. Bubbles happen over decades, not over years. All right. This is what the dollar does over time. The dollar has lost 90% more than 90%. It's actually lost, it's lost a total of 96% but it has lost 90% of that since the 1950s. That's crazy. It lost 96, but it lost 90% of the 96 since the 1950s. That's insane. That's crazy. Guys, look at the long-term price of silver. You see this? Now, silver today is $25 an ounce. My projected price for silver is over $100. That's a four times play right there. Four times your money over time. We're going back 
two, you see this line here that I have drawn, the median line? That red line is the median line. You see? That's the median line. We're going back above that line. You see, every asset spends a little bit of time, it spends some time below its median line and it spends some time above its median line. It's time for silver to go above its median line. Now mark my words, this is a four bagger right here, silver. Over time, four times your money right there. Are you listening to me, IRA players? All right, gold, all right? Now, look at gold's long-term history and look at the median line I have running through gold. That median line shows you that even though there's boom and bust, there's ups and downs, over time it still trends higher, okay? Now, I'm not particularly bullish on gold. I'm more bullish on silver. I believe that Bitcoin has replaced the need for gold. And so instead of gold, we're gonna replace gold in our wealth portfolio with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has kicked gold to the side, all right? Bitcoin is analog. I mean, gold is analog, Bitcoin is digital. All right, gold is old and heavy and bulky and slow. Try to move a billion dollars of gold to another country. You're gonna need some jets, some boats, an army. Do you understand? Old, bulky. Remember the old bulky computers? Guys, remember remember when p computers used to fill a whole room? Like one computer would fill a whole floor of a warehouse. <laughs> one computer. All right? And then the computers got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until they became digitized, right? Gold is bulky, it's big, a billion dollars of gold, kind of 30 billion dollars of gold, you need like a freaking warehouse. And you need to put armed guards around it. It's freaking expensive. It's smelly. You can't lift it, move it. It's hard to divide it. Like if I want to pay you $10, like I got to divide the gold. Like how do I freaking chip off $10 of this? It's old technology. Bitcoin? Hoo -hoo. That's a new type of gold. That's the digital form of gold. Infinitely divisible. I can take 30 billions of dollars and just get on a flight and it's there. When I land, it's with me on the plane. I land, it's right, my 30 billion is right there with me. In fact, my 30 billion is right here. It's easily transportable, infinitely divisible into Satoshis. Unconfiscatable, I can knock you out and steal your gold, but I can't steal your Bitcoin. It's better than gold. It's the new gold. Remember when your phones, uh, remember the analog phones? Remember those right phones, right? Where you picked up the phone, right? You picked up the phone and you dial the number and you had to wait for the number to complete. You dial the number, okay, and you you hope that you didn't have a number with a lot of big numbers like eight and nine and zero. My God, zero. Remember when you used to dial the zero? That was the longest one, zero. And then a nine. And remember the cord that used to get all wrapped around your arm or whatever, you'd have to undo the cord. That was a freaking analog phone. Remember those? They're 37 bucks on Amazon now. You can Google that. Google an ama look, analog phone on Amazon. It's $37 today. 
What's the digital replacement of the analog phone? Right here. So wait a minute. The analog version is $37. The digital version is $1,500. Hmm. 37, 1500. Remember when you used to mail a letter? Remember you used to have to mail a letter? Guys, I used, I had a, I had a pen pal. Like my school required us to have a pen pal. I wrote a dude I didn't know for 10 years who lived in Germany. Never met the guy, but I wrote a letter to him every week for 10 years. I, we did this as kids. All right. I would write the letter. Hi. Um, um, once again, got good grades in school and playing baseball with my friends. And I licked the letter. Disgusting. Put stamps on it, like 15 different stamps so it can get to Germany. Maybe a week and a half later, my pen pal got the letter. Remember that? That's analog mail. What's the digital replacement for mail today? Email? Is the email the digital version? Is the email bigger? Is, is, is that entity, email entity, is that way bigger than mailing letters today? Of course. Is the iPhone more valuable than an analog phone today? Of course. Is, remember Blockbuster Video? Some of you in America will might remember this. Anybody remember Blockbuster Video? I'm curious. Who remembers Blockbuster? Anybody remember Blockbuster Video? Where I, I used to, I used to rush home as fast as I could on a Friday. I used to rush to the Blockbuster to get there before all the new ones got taken up. You had to get to the Blockbuster store before they, you, I knew the time they put the new movies out on the shelves. All right. And then I would rush to the Blockbuster because maybe they only had 25 of the movies. And if you didn't get there fast enough, all the great movies were gone. I mean, you could buy your popcorn there. You get your Twizzlers. You get, you know, a good movie and then you get two or three bad movies. You, you hold them for 48 hours. And if you didn't bring the movie back, you got fined. Remember that? Blockbuster, analog, old, bulky. You remember how fat the videos used to be? It used to be fat. What's the digital version of Blockbuster today? That's analog. The actual movie you put it into your VCR. Remember that you put the video in. What's the what's the digital version of Blockbuster today? It starts with a big giant N. Know that company that starts with an N? What's the digital version? Tell me. <laughs> the digital version of Blockbuster today, it's called freaking that's right, Jonathan. See, it's called Netflix. Now, wait a minute. Do you ever, some people say, well, Oliver, um, I don't trust something I can't see and feel. I'm like, what are you talking about? You trust stuff you can't see or feel all the time. Like there's no more VHS movie that you hold in your hand and put it, bring it to your house and put it into a, a VC, a v, VHS player. You don't hold a movie in your hands today anymore. It's not freaking physical anymore. Movies are freaking digital. You choose it on a screen. You can't even touch a movie today. Don't go touch a movie. Try to touch a movie. It's not physical. You can touch your, your, your TV. 
But you're not touching the movie. The movie can't be touched today because the movies have been digitized. Gold is been has been digitized by Bitcoin. And all di- almost all digital forms are not physical. Do you understand this? So, check this out. You've got analog phone, $37, all right? You got analog phone is $37, iPhone $1,500, wow. You've got the digital form of mail today is email, which is way bigger than writing letters and mailing them. Netflix is way bigger than Blockbuster, which went out of business. Gold, wish I could show you here. Gold and Bitcoin. Now look at this. Gold is analog, Bitcoin is digital. And in the past, everything digital has grown to be way bigger than the analog version that it replaces. So wait a minute, if gold is $10 trillion today, it is, and Bitcoin is $1 trillion, what's its future? Let's go over this one more time. Okay. The iPhone went up way past the price of an analog phone. $37, $1,500. Email is millions of times bigger and more valuable than writing a letter. Netflix is... Two million times more valuable and bigger than Blockbuster ever was. There's never been a scenario in the existence of human life where the digital replacement does not dwarf the analog version in value. But yet, gold, the analog version, is $10 trillion. Bitcoin, its digital replacement is one trillion. Where's the future? Is the future 10 trillion? Well, yeah, but that's the baby future. What's the ultimate future? Way past 10 trillion. Did the iPhone just go to $37? No, it went way past $37. Did Gmail stop? Did email stop at the value of writing a letter? No, it went way past it. Did Netflix just come up to the value of Blockbuster or did it go way past the value of Blockbuster? Listen, Bitcoin is not only going to come up to $10 trillion to match gold, it's going to make gold look like a freaking flea. And guess what? You and I are going to change our life because of it, period. All right, you get the message. (laughs) All right, there we go. Fastest horse in the game, it is the future. And don't give me this nonsense about, oh, well, Oliver, I'm scared that, you know, Bitcoin's gonna be outlawed by the government. Think about this. First of all, Bitcoin can't be outlawed. Only people can be controlled, but Bitcoin can't be controlled. But I want you to think about this. If your government, wherever you live, ever decided to make alcohol illegal, what do you think would happen? I want to see your faces here. I got to see your faces. All right, show me your faces here. I I wanna see the answers here. If your government outlawed alcohol, 
what would the price of alcohol do? I'm curious. I'm curious what you think the price of alcohol would do. Your government bans alcohol, all right? Bans it. Alcohol is now against the law. Do you think, first of all, that that will eliminate alcohol? And what do you think would happen to the price of alcohol? Hmm? Tell me, I want to see. It, it would not only go up, I mean, you, it would probably go up faster than anything has ever gone up in history. This is the same thing that would happen to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin ever got banned, it would be adopted more and at a higher price. Don't, we're not going to allow silliness to stop our wealth accumulation. Do you understand? We're not going to allow it. Five years, five years. That's all we need. Five years. Never. I'm talking about never having to ever answer to or work again for someone else for the rest of your life and live well. I'm talking about living anywhere on planet Earth that you want. Five years. Today, it doesn't take what it used to take, traders. It doesn't take 50 years working for a freaking company. You're not going to get wealthy working on a job. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get wealthy saving pennies. Do you understand? You're not going to change your life getting a better job. It's not going to happen. That is not how you get wealthy. And getting wealthy today ha can happen faster than it used to be. It used to take 30 years to 40 years doing all the right things to get wealthy. Five years. You got five years. And you can change your life forever. You got to do the right steps in those five years. I will take care of that. Five years. All right, guys. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. Let's go here. Uh, da, 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 da. Boom. Okay. Guys, look at the NASDAQ in the past. You see that? This is, look at the years I'm showing you. Look at the years I'm showing you. Guys, I started in 19, I started my company in 1994. Look at all the way to the left in 1994. That's when I started my company. That's when I left Wall Street and started my own company, 1994. Look at what happened to the NASDAQ from 1994 right into 2000. It was crazy. This was one of the biggest wealth periods of my life. I was fortunate enough to get out of everything in 2000. I'm going to teach you how to do that too. It's going to be very simple. I want you to note the three circles that I have on this chart of the NASDAQ. I want you to note the top circle. Notice how I'm highlighting the NASDAQ at the top is way away from the 20 period moving average, which we'll talk about. 20 period moving average, look at the blue line. It's far above the 20. Now look at the 20 is far above the 200. So there are three items I wanna bring your attention to. The NASDAQ, the 20 period moving average of the NASDAQ, that's the blue line, and the 200 period moving average of the NASDAQ. I want you to monitor on a monthly chart. I want you to monitor everything. 
we're looking at the NASDAQ, a monthly chart of the NASDAQ. When the NASDAQ gets way above its 20, and the 20 is also way above the 200. So you get all three of those items spread far apart. It's time to say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Adios. See ya. But when they're together, look it to the left and to the right. When they're together, it's time to say, hi, hello, hi, wide apart, bye-bye, bye, adios. When they're together, hi, hello. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When they're far apart, all three items, right? So the three items are like this. You got the you got the market here, you got the 20 there, and you got the 200 there, and they're all wide apart like that. Bye bye. Bye. But when they come together, you say, hi. Hi. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that's how we're going to play all of the markets, except Bitcoin. Different. I'll talk about the difference. But we're going to wait for markets to be like that. And we're going to start piling into them. You understand? When they're wide apart, we're going to get out and switch to something that's like that. So we're always moving out of the wide, going into the narrow, moving out of the wide, going into the narrow, right? So let's get back to this. We're moving out of the wide on the NASDAQ, getting back in on the narrow phase of the NASDAQ, you see? Narrow to wide. Now, what's interesting about all markets is that they vacillate between these two states, narrow state, wide state, wide state, back to narrow state, narrow state, back to wide state. Now. Let's do a quick summary. All money, all fiat currency declines in value. Remember that. Your money is a melting ice cube. You can't hold on to it. Spend it now, what you need, all right? Because if you save it, it's going to be worth less. So spend it now and not all of it. And then the rest that you don't need, we're going to put into other things, all right? All paper markets rise and decline, right? Just like I showed you, remember? Paper market, NASDAQ, rise and decline, okay? All paper markets rise and decline. Gold, silver, art, collectibles, ammunition, firearms, agricultural property, rare beach property, stuff like that. Rare property, Manhattan buildings, like that. Bitcoin, etc. They only rise in value. That's important to understand. Everything on that list goes up in value over time. They have ups and downs in between, but over time, that line, that trend is up. How long? Forever. Listen, guys, listen. There. My mother. These things will never go down in value, traders. Not over time. Not in your lifetime. Not in my lifetime. Not in your kids' lifetimes. There are certain things that will never stop going up. Ever. As long as the, the earth is creating more people, Every few seconds, there's a new person born, pops up on planet Earth. These things are going to go up in value. Do you understand this? They will never not go down. They will never stop going up. That's what I'm saying. My mother used to say, Oliver. My mother used to say when I was a kid, Oliver, never say never. You just never know. Never say never, Oliver. It's not good. Sorry, Mom. Sorry. Never. Never. They will never stop going up. Currencies will never stop going down until they go to zero. Do you see any Roman coins floating around? Anybody have a Roman coin? Where did that one go? 
Do you know how many currencies existed? Thousands of currencies existed in the past. Where are they? In the freaking currency graveyard. There's only a small handful left and they're all going to zero too. All of them. Every single one. Including the euro, including the US dollar. Do you know what? They'll come up with a new one and give it a different name or they'll say that it's we're revising it, but it's like, okay, the old one's dead and this is a new one. That's the game, but they all go out. They all have to be replaced. But these things, there are certain things that will never stop going up. And you have to know this. Because once you know what doesn't stop going up, you have to take what goes down and pour it into what never goes down over time. All the people who are wealthy are doing this. They're making the switch. And all the people who are poor are not doing this. All the people who are making poor think you make dollars. That being rich is having dollars. It's not being rich. Cash is trash in today's world. Okay. Beautiful. Wealth occurs when your value rises faster than all the other assets that decline. So you not only want the assets that go up over time, but you want the fastest of them. Gold has become the slowest. It does go up over time, but it's now the snail of the group. Do you understand? It's the slow poke. It's the fat kid. I'm sorry. I don't want to shame fat shame anybody but it's the slow person it's the slowest of the whole group so I say we replace gold and you know what I replace it with we need a monthly chart traders we need a 20 period moving average we need a 50 period moving average and we need a 200 look at that list take a snapshot take a picture Whatever you do, write this note down, whatever. This is all we need. We need four things to play these markets. We need a monthly chart of the item that we're playing. We need a 20 period moving average, a 50 period moving average, and a 200 period moving average. That's all we need. Now, here's the monthly chart of the NASDAQ. Every bar represents one month of trading. Boom, there's a 20 period moving average of the NASDAQ. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Rising 20 period moving average. It's simple, simple moving average. We need a 50 period moving average as well. We need, and we need a 200. We need these three moving averages, traders. Now, you got that? We Now that we have the monthly chart, the 20, the 50, and the 200, these three moving averages are gonna stay on our, our monthly chart. We need to know what my color game is. It's a very simple game. If you have the intelligence of a 12 year old and above, you're good to play my color game. It's simple. We're gonna trade, this is the color game rules. We're gonna trade with the 20 period moving average, which means that if the 20 period moving average is rising, we're gonna be a buyer. If the 20 period moving average is declining, we're gonna be a seller, okay? So we're gonna trade in the direction of the 20. That's rule number one. Rule number two, we're gonna buy the color change. That should say change. We're gonna buy the color change near the 20 period moving average. I'm gonna show you what this is. We're gonna buy the color change between the 20 and 50 if that happens. So we're gonna buy color changes near the 20, we're gonna buy color changes in between the 20 and 50, and we're gonna buy the color changes that occur near the 200. So notice these, let's go over the locations once again. Let's go over the rules once again. We're gonna trade in the direction of the 20. Rising 20, buyer. Declining 20, seller, okay? 
let's say buy, we're a buyer, the 20 is rising. We're going to buy the color change in the bars near the 20, in between the 20 and 20, the 20 and the 50, and at or near the 200. Those are the three locations. It's three locations we do the color change. Now, look at this. Let's take Apple. Now, guys, I've owned Apple from a split adjusted price now of 68 cents. All right. I could I continue to hold 8,000 shares of Apple. All right. I had much more. All right. But I've been in it for a very long time. Okay. But I want to show you how I've taught a little more than 500 people how to get wealthy from Apple. And there are, I've taught hundreds of people that have changed their lives from one stock, Apple, over the years. And here's what I've taught them. It's very simple. I want you to note the blue line is the 20 period moving average. All right? Blue line is 20. The, uh, uh, the orange line in the middle is the 50 and the red line is the 20. Now, I want you to note that each bar on Apple is a monthly bar. That's a whole month of trading. So the green bars are months that went up in price over the month. Red bars are months during which Apple went down in price. Now, I want you to look at the space in Apple. Look at the space between the blue 20 period moving average and the yellow 50 period moving average. Look at the space in between those two. Notice how when Apple gets in the space and switches from green to red, boom, <clears throat> I'm wondering if you're able to see my writings, all right? Uh, Santi, let me know if you can see my writings on the chart. I just want to make sure they can, our, our audience can see. I don't think I'm able to do this, but let's just see. Let's check this out here. Let me just do this, guys. Give me a second. I'll bring up my epic pen. I'm going to see if you can see my writings on the chart. Let's see. No? No? Okay, you can see them. All right, cool. Awesome! I love it. Awesome, okay, cool. So, guys, we're, we've got the 20 period moving average here. We got the 50 period moving average here. We got the 200 period moving average there, right? Now, look at the space in between. That's what I want to bring your attention to, right? I'm going to bring your attention to this space in between the 20 and the, and the 50 period moving average. You got that? Okay, you got that space? Now, notice in the space, when you're in the space, all we look for is when green overtakes a red bar. Boom. Do that with a different color here. Let's do it here. Green overtakes red. Boom. You see here in the space, green overtakes the high of a red month. Boom. Look, green overtakes the high of a red month. So we remember the two lo the three locations. We're gonna do at or near the 20, the color change. We're gonna do in between the 20 and 50, the color change. You see, you, you don't have to be touching it, but you see the 20 here? You can do this because it's kind of near the 20. It's not super far. So green takes out red, boom, boom, boom. Boom! Any 
anytime green takes out red, we're piling into Apple, piling into Apple, you see, piling into Apple. Do you see that? Green takes out red here, boom. Green takes out red, boom. Green takes out red, boom. Anywhere near, green takes out red, boom. Green takes out red, boom. Green takes out red, boom. Boom, boom. So we know when to get into Apple. Now, why is by this is Apple as of right right now. Why? Well, um, this is before this is actually an older chart. Why is it not particularly a great idea to be putting a lot of your fiat into Apple right now? Because we're a bit overextended. All right. We can hold it, but we want to make sure we're more down here to make investments in it. Right. So now let's take a look at Adobe. This is another play that many of my traders all right, got wealthy from coming in. Green takes out red right near the 20. Boom. Green takes out red right near the 20. Boom. All right. You see how you kind of sometimes touch the 20. Sometimes you slip in between the 20 and 50. But those are great opportunities. Look at this green takes out red. You get the point. It's not the greatest time to be piling in away from everything. That's a better time to be starting to gradually come out of the asset, okay? Or at least to hold the asset. All right, AMD, you get the whole point, guys. We look at everything this way. Green takes out red, boom. Green takes out red, boom. Green takes out red, boom. Not here. You're, you're a bit far, okay? And so we play this color game. Look at Amazon, guys. I own Amazon from $7.50. I still own it. All right, from $7 all the way back in early 2000s. Now, notice the circles here. I'm doing circles away from the moving averages, right? Circles away from the moving average. So each one of these was a cycle. One cycle, another cycle, another cycle, a longer cycle there, all right? Another cycle, another cycle, a huge cycle. All right. So we play all of the cycles of an asset. We might lighten up some here, but we replay it when it's down here. We lighten up. We, we play it here, lighten up a little bit, lighten up, play it here play it there, lighten up. And we do this repetitively over and over and over again. We play all the cycles that go like that, right? Play it here, lighten up away from the moving averages, go back in near the moving averages, lighten up away from the moving averages, you see? And it's just these, these become wealth, life-changing wealth cycles, life-changing. You only need a small handful of these. You don't need, and you, and here's the thing, guys, here's the mistake a lot of people make when it comes to the market and stuff. They think they have to constantly search and guys, you need like four things. We need Bitcoin and we need something like an Apple an Amazon you know, we might hit up silver at certain moments, but you don't need, once you have your things, it just becomes playing the cycles in those things. Oh, I'm near the moving averages, color game now. This one's away from the moving average, let me collect some of my gains. 
I'm in near the moving averages over here. I'm going in away from the moving average on these two things. I'm pulling some out and moving it into something that's near the moving averages. Do you understand? And this becomes the game, but you've got to do this on the right items. You see, it's not enough to know the method, which is very basic, but you've got to apply the method to the right things. We're gonna, we're gonna do that together. We're gonna do this in a way where it's specifically mapped out to make you independent in five years. Five years is gonna come, traders. Whether you want it to come or not, five years is gonna come. Why not let it come and be financially independent? If it's gonna come anyway, why not have it come and have life-changing wealth? I'll tell you a quick story. I told this story, story before, so some of you have heard this story. My mother. My mother, when she was 50 years old, I remember this like it was yesterday, right? This was years ago. My mother was 50 years old at the time, and she announced we were, I think, at Thanksgiving dinner, and my two aunts were present. And my mother... <laughs> My mother announced, you know, I'm going to go back to, to get my college degree. I'm going to go to college and get my college degree. And she's 50 years old. And so my aunts laughed. And she said, Louise, my mother's name, Louise, do you realize that you're going to be probably 55 when you finally get your degree? And my mother said, yeah, but aren't I going to be 55 in five years anyway? So if I'm going to be 55 in five years anyway, isn't it? Why not be 55 with a degree than 55 without a degree? And that moment right there hit me like a ton of bricks. My mother with her deep wisdom rocked my soul that day. I never forgot that moment. It's simple. Five years is going to come anyway. So why not let it come with life-changing wealth? We're all the same as far as time is concerned, but we're not all the same in what we do in that time to make five years later different. What are you doing today to make your whole world better five years from now? If you're not doing something consciously today, with the purpose of your life five years from today being different, if you're not doing that today, your five years is gonna sneak up on you and it's gonna be the same. The vast majority of people just live one giant long Monday. Their Mondays, their Tuesdays are nothing more than another a Monday repeating itself. Their Wednesdays are nothing more than a Monday repeating themselves. Their Thursdays, their Fridays, every day is just a freaking Monday. And they live this perpetual Monday every day of their lives doing the same thing but wishing for different how is tomorrow going to be different if you don't do something different today? How? How is tomorrow going to be better if you don't change something today? If you do the same thing today that you did yesterday, you're only going to get yesterday tomorrow. You've got to to do something today to make five years different. 
to make five years better, to make five years wealthier, to make five years higher. You want to be independent in five years. We start today. And with me, I will never let you stop. Every single day, we take our steps and we get there. We get there, traders. I have taken hundreds of people on this journey. People who started with me in 2010 to 2009 when I started this wealth program. Do you know what position they're in today? NVIDIA at $9, Microsoft at $18 and $24, Facebook at $18, Twitter at $18. The list goes on and on and on. Bitcoin at $4,000, $3,800, the first one actually, and still going. People that started with me last year. Some don't have to work because of one year. I've taken hundreds of people down this journey and they will tell you some of them might even be in this audience right now, financially free because we took this walk together. It's not a complicated walk, but I've done it over and over again. I've been doing this from 1986. Well, in earnest, really 1988. I've been playing these wealth cycles from 1988 and I haven't missed one. And with my wealth team, guys, I show them my, I don't show them all my money, but I show real money on the line. This is, I show the skin I have in the game. You see me buying with real money. And I think that's important so that you have the confidence that Oliver's putting himself on the line here. So it makes it easier for you to put yourself on the line. I will never do something that I don't show you I'm doing it with real money in your face. All right, that's how I operate. All right, guys, you get the deal. Guys, Alibaba, look at the moves. Look at, look at Alibaba here. Look at, look at it, look at it between. So you can imagine, like, look at it here. Look at the green taking out red. Boom. How do you protect yourself? Go under the bar you, you buy. Here's green taking out red near the 20 period moving average. Put that protection under the bar you buy. Look at your risk. Look at your risk. Look at the potential gain. Look at the potential gain look at you see the cycles look at the potential gain but look at your risk that's called the snowman risk here's my risk and here is my gain you see that's the that's the upside down snowman see when i used to make a snowman i used to put the little oreo cookies right there to make the snowman's best you know put go in my closet and get some old snow boots I'd have, stick those snow boots on the, put a little hat on the snowman right there, you know, put a little carrot there for his nose, remember that? Oh, orange carrot, should do that orange, yeah, I got orange here. There's some little twigs off the tree, And that's how we get wealthy, keeping that risk to the head of the snowman and keeping our profits nice and fat, stuffed with Oreo cookies. I love Oreo cookies. Who doesn't like Oreo cookies? Boom, look at that risk. Risk, snowman, risk, Snowman, risk, 
snowman away from everything lighten up away lighten up you see you get the game it's not rocket science Etsy look at that look at look at Etsy's last boom see boom It's not rocket science. People overcomplicate this game. Guys, we went into Facebook at $18. Can I don't know if you can see it, but it's here. It's down in this area. But anyway, look at all the opportunities. Boom. You can be near the 20, see? In between the 20 and 50. Oh. It's not rocket science. Google, it's not rocket science. You can look at Google and know what to do now. We love when we get these slips in between. Those are great wealth opportunities, but you got to do it on the right items. You can you can be buying into between on the wrong item. We need the right items. I take care of that. Don't worry about that. I take care of the right items. All right. Nvidia, we went in at $9 over here somewhere, but look at look at when Nvidia gave us new cycles. Okay? Cuz this is kind of one cycle. All right? Now it's it gave us this incredible cycle that we started lightening up here on nvidia so in down here lighten up in down here lighten up repeat 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 and get wealthier every freaking cycle microsoft Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. You know the deal. This is freaking boring now. Space concept, guys. Just we lighten up on our wealth plays when we're spread. The only thing we don't do this with right now is Bitcoin. But when you're wide apart like this with a mature asset, a mature asset, Bitcoin's not a mature asset yet. So we don't do, the, you don't do the, the wide space concept on a baby. Do you understand? You do the space concept on an adult, right? Microsoft is an adult. Apple is an adult. You understand? Um, NASDAQ is an adult. Bitcoin's a baby. You don't say a baby is finished at 12 years old, all right? You can, the NASDAQ can be finished for a while, but Bitcoin can't be finished right now. It's just too early. So that's the only exception, all right? So don't be telling me, Oliver, you taught me the space concept and look at Bitcoin space. No, we don't do space on Bitcoin yet. Come back another 20 years, then we start doing space, all right? All right. Uh, so if, if look at look at to the left now, guys. Look at how narrow this is when your your wealth cycle is starting all over. This is a brand new wealth cycle starting. Boom! Now we're wide apart. You got to start lightening. You don't have to eliminate everything, but you should lighten up. But what I'm going to do in our wealth program, I'm going to teach you how to use options and futures when you get far away to make money on the downward movement back to narrow. See, because markets move from wide back to narrow, right? You see? 
So what can you do here? You light, you get in here, but you lighten up here, but we can turn the downward movement into dollars. And as we make these dollars, we put that into Bitcoin, right? And then the cycle repeats itself for another wealth cycle. And we, so I'm going to teach you how to utilize options and futures. This is, this is a new, this is the newest, newest moves in my wealth program to benefit from the downside. Because we can turn the downward movements into wealth too. Why not? I want it all. I don't want to leave anything on the table. I want it all. So narrow and wide. You get it. Beautiful. Best time for entries. You get this, guys. You got it? Yes. Me hago entender? Sí. Claro. Claro que sí. All right. Quick thing. Coming to a close here, guys. A look at the past year. All right. So remember... Remember the NASDAQ when I first started my company back in 1994? I started at the perfect time because it was the beginning of a new wealth cycle, right? And of course, I did well by getting out and having all of my traders get out on the far away. And you know, that's my approach. I've been doing this from 1988, um, 1988. All right. Now, so that's 2000. Look at where you are. That's the clear view. That's the year 2000. But I want you to look at 1990. All right. Now I started my company here. Well, actually here, but look at 1990 and look at 2000. All right. It's about 10 years. It's not exact all the time, but there's this 10 year thing that goes on with the market. I want you to be aware of. So remember 1990, then remember 2000, right? And then what's two that what's 10 years from 2000, 2010, right? So check this out. Let me show it to you. I want to show you this cycle. Here is the NASDAQ now, all right? So here's 2010. Remember 2000 was up here. And remember, so remember we went from 1990 to 2000. 2000 to 2010, that's another 10 years. From 2010 to 2000, one. So it's not quite 10 years, but it's pretty freaking close. These 10 year cycles, all right, are real traders. This is not the time to be piling in here. This is today's chart. This is not the time knowing this 10 years, look at 10 years ago. Look at 10, 2010, 2011. Look, look at the items were close, right? You see how close the items were? Now look at the items. Freaking far away. I'm telling you, traders, it's time to do our thing this way. You understand? It's just, it, you can clearly see the 10 year cycles that's going on here. And we're going to, you don't understand. There's saliva dripping down the corners of my mouth. Do you understand? Love it. Look at those 10 years, guys. Look at those 10 years. 1990, 10 years later, 2000. 10 years later, bottom. 10 years later, top. Hmm. All right. I just look, I just follow the charts. I don't follow a person. I don't follow a personality. I don't follow the news. 
I don't trust any of that. Do you understand? I just trust what I see through the eyes of the chart. And I am telling you that this is not the time, I don't care what anybody says, to be piling in anything in the NASDAQ here. It's not the time. But we milked this cycle, guys. Oh my God. We milked it. Whew. I milked this one. We milked this one. Now it's time to milk that. On the downside, let's get ready. This is life for life changing wealth. We only need five years, guys. Now, there are ways to play with the experts. You can, you can pretty much play with Warren Buffett by buying Berkshire Hathaway. Here's the symbol, B-R-K, I think it's B, right? Dot B. That's Berkshire Hathaway. You want, you want your money with, with Warren Buffett? Just buy that, and now your money's with Warren Buffett. It's simple. You can play with Warren Buffett, but Warren Buffett has an annualized gain over the last 40 years of 15%. Guys, I kill 15%. Do you understand? You can choose Warren Buffett with his 15% annualized gain over the last 40 years. So over the last 40 years, Warren Buffett, one of the most successful market players of all time, his annualized average gain is 15%. I murder 15%. There are days we get 15%, not years. It's now, in all fairness, Warren Buffett has billions of dollars that he's playing with and I don't. So it's easier for me to beat Warren Buffett at the game. I can be more nimble. He can't. I can pick things that he can't pick because he has too much money. You understand? So I'm not saying that I'm necessarily better. I just know that my performance over the last 30 years is way better than Warren Buffett's performance over the past 30 years. All right. Um, if Kathy Wood is another one. I greatly respect her. This is probably the most talented, successful female investor of all time, Kathy Wood. If you don't know her, you do need to know her. Now, you can invest with Kathy Wood. All you have to do is buy, um, I think it's ARKK is the symbol. And she has the ARKF and the, for FinTech, whatever. But the main one is ARKK. You can just buy this. When you buy ARKK, you, your money is with Kathy Wood. Kathy Wood kills Warren Buffett. Kathy Wood makes Warren Buffett look like he does not know what he's doing. But if we're going to play this and we do... We're going to play it the right way. Boom, boom, boom. We're not going to be buying Kathy Wood there. We're going to be buying Kathy Wood down here. Do you understand? So we're waiting. Come on, Kathy. Kathy, come to papi, Kathy. Come to papi. Come to papito. <laughs> You understand? Oh, Kathy's going to come. She's coming to Papito. She's coming to Papi. All right? We're going to play her. All right? I hope she's watching, too. Kathy, are you watching? We're going to play you, but not right now. Not right now. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So you can play Warren Buffett. You can play Kathy, or you can play with me, guys. All right. When was I telling you last year to get into Bitcoin? March, right there. Why was I telling you here? 
to get into Bitcoin. Why? Because of where the position was. See the position? Look. Look. Let's draw the line. You see it? Boing. One cycle. Boing. Two cycles up right there. March 13th. March 12th and 13th, right there. Why did I do this event when Bitcoin was at, and I told you Bitcoin is at, you will never see 10,000 again, why? You see this red, you see that red bar right there? Look, you see that? Okay, you see this red one? Boom, boom, boom. And look. Now remember, I know we're hot. Don't remember I told you, don't be telling me. Oh, but Oliver, Bitcoin's far away. Bitcoin's a baby. You don't do space on a baby. You don't say, oh, Apple's far away in 1992. You do it now. It's 40 freaking 44 years old. You understand? But at 12 years old, you don't do the far away thing. You do the far away thing when something's 20, 25 years old, 40 years old, 60 years old, but not when it's a baby. So that's the only caveat there. Guys, traders, look, listen to me. This is the mix that I want my traders to have. I want them to have a minimum of 45% in Bitcoin, 20% in cash to be able to take care of any opportunities that pop up, 25% stocks now. I don't want, there are times when the stocks mix has got to be bigger, but not when it's far freaking far away. You got to go down in that number far away. You go up in that number right? The 20 and the 50. Remember, you go up in this number when you're down here. You go down in this number when you're here. All right. You can eliminate this 5% in goal and put that there and make that 50. If you like, you can even take this and make that 55. But I do think silver's got four time four X in it coming up. And we got, I've got some stop plays that I think are fire. Oh yes, the com this combination right here. Is going to change your life in five years. What I've got for you here is going to change your life. This is definitely going to change your life. And remember, our first goal is to get there with Bitcoin. And then from there, there's another goal and then another goal, which I map out for you. And here's what happens. We're going to map out five years from now. Here's year one, two, three four and five and f and you're gonna know right now what it's going to take to be completely free in five years and we're gonna map out every single step to get there boom and i want you to go for the 10-year goal too which is to make sure no other generation after you has to be taking orders from anybody. Now guys, look, this program is $4,000. I know for a lot of people, that's a lot of money. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not. You know why? Because this program is for life. My wealth traders are with me forever. There's no expiration. There's no end date, traders. You know every single thing I do. 
Every single move, every single buy, every single sell, every single short, every single options play, every single futures play. You know when I'm going in, when I'm coming out, and by how much. We take this journey together. You will never be lost, ever. You will know not only what to play, when to play, by how much and why. This program is priceless as far as I'm concerned. $4,000 for life. If we take the five-year plan, it's, one, it's less than $1,000 a year. It's a family dinner. It's the cost of a family dinner with a couple of bottles of wine a year. If we talk about 10 years, it's a couple hundred dollars a year. That's how you got to look at this. But I got something very special for you. Join the Wealth Program. Now, and it's 50% off. Think about this, guys. For life, we meet every single month together. We study together. We find our opportunities together. We buy together. We sell together. We take this wealth journey together. I teach you every single wealth tactic and play. I teach, I'm going to teach you how to use options to pay for your buys. We're going to use futures to ride the market down when it's time to make money on the downside. We're going to, I'm going to teach you how to use leverage professionally to make triple what you would make without leverage. All of these are sophisticated wealth plays I've been doing for 30 years. And I'm going to show you what's possible with real money. You're going to see my real money at work. This is not theory. You're going to see the money I have on the line. $2,000 over five years. What's that? Let me find out what that is. Let's get the number right. $2,097 divided by five years. That's $419 a year. Change your life. $400 a year can change your life forever. That's crazy. Guys, you can make $400 in a day, in a week, in a month with this. That's insane. $400 a year over the next five years to have us take this journey together, to have me by your side throughout the whole process. This is priceless. This is your opportunity. But I got something else for you. I have made some of the members, many of the members of my Bitcoin trading club, right? I've made many of them wealthy within, in less than a year, in months. There are scores of people today that tell me they don't have to work anymore because of following me with my cryptocurrency wealth building program. But I closed that. You see guys, I don't keep these programs open forever. I close them. I had, my wealth program was closed for 10 years. 10 years. I opened it in 2010 and I closed it for 10 years. Do you know why? Because I don't like to start in the middle of a cycle. When did I open the well program? 
late last year again because we're 10 years later now. It's the start of a new cycle. It's time for us to start again, traders. This is your opportunity. This will not remain open. I closed the Bitcoin club, but I'm opening it only for those right now who join the wealth program as a gift. In the next 48 hours, anyone who commits to this well program, you get the well program and the Bitcoin Trading Club, which is closed to, to, any, to everyone. And so not only is there a 50% savings on the regular $4,000 price to be part of this forever, this is a lifetime program. You get access to a group that's been closed and that has been on fire. I've got, we've got big opportunities coming up this year. I don't want you to miss them. This year alone, by December, you're gonna mark my words, by December, our lives are going to be very different. We're making the moves now. If you're interested in joining the wealth team and joining my wealth family, this is your opportunity. You've got 48 hours to get access to the Bitcoin club. And I can't remember how long you have to get the 50% off. But this, club, this group is not going to be open for long. Traders, I realize that it is a Saturday. It's a Saturday afternoon for me. It might be a Saturday evening or a Saturday morning for, for you, wherever you are in the world. I know that wherever you are in the world, you could have been doing something else. You could have been with your family. You could have been walking your dog. You could have been shopping at the mall. You could be watching Netflix. You could be doing one of many, a million other things. But you're here with me. And I want you to know that that is not something that I take lightly. Never. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me the most valuable commodity you have. And that is your time. Every time I am given the gift of your attention and your time, I try my very best to deliver a promise, to deliver on a promise. And that promise is to share something of value to you that potentially can change your life. Whether you decide to become a member of my family or not, I hope that I've delivered on that promise today. I hope that you gleaned something of value. I hope that I've touched you in some way because you have touched me just by being here. You could be on a million other channels, but you're here. You could be doing a million other things, but you're here. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Traders, let's do this. Let's do this together. Let's do it. TradingOliverVelez.com. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Let's make the next five years life-changing but let's make this year a mega year this year guys is going to be a mega year don't let me say i told you so let's do it i love you my god i i'm so glad you can't see me ha <laughs> ha Love you guys. Always. <laughs> I love it. Look at you guys. Look at this. Look at this. It's crazy. Yay! <laughs> Look at that. I 
I love it. Wow, wow, wow. Those comments are crazy. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it, guys. Let's do it.